God cannot do it does not exist. My name is Mrs. Oluchi Bomadapa. I am making this video from Bonnie River State. On the 16th of August last year, Pastor Jerry mentioned that you should go on your knees, that I want to get married. If you desire a spouse, a labaraya, and you are a female, get on your knees wherever you are. I command, let every evil covering tear by fire. Let them tear by fire. Let them tear by fire. By the help of the Lord, let there be a miraculous connection. In the next few days, let there be a miraculous connection. In the next few days, receive your gift from the Lord. Receive your gift from the Lord. I went on my knees. And Pastor Jerry prayed for Marita open doors. After that prayer, I was going through my Facebook. I saw my old friend. And I started chatting with him. He asked me to send my number. I sent my number. We started discussing. He proposed to me. I said, wow, just like that. We fixed our marriage on the 28th of October this year. On the 28th of October, Pastor Jerry. We gathered in our house. And we are busy cooking, eating. I said, is it for me? And people gathered and gave me eating. For my celebration, people came from all over to honor the of October. Pastor Jerry, I am married on the altar of time. I was asking myself, is it that I am married? I can't even explain how it happened. People started calling me, people started sending me texts. I said, I don't even know how it happened. The only thing I knew that God finally answered me. God removed my shame. God removed what's in my life. God changed my name. Not just answering me. I remember that I prayed, I said, God, at this age, I don't want to marry a man that is still building, a man that is still struggling. I need a redmade man. People will be laughing at me. I said, what do you mean by redmade? I said, I need a redmade man. Indeed, God has had me. God gave me a man. That's everything I need in me, husband's house. I can find it. Hello, my name is Lyle Me. Uh, I'm making this testimony from London, UK to testify that what God cannot do does not exist. In the face of what the doctor is telling you you have to deal with for the rest of your life, or when they're telling you that there's no cure for it, my answer to them is what God cannot do does not exist. So my situation started in 2018. In 2018, I'm in my final year of university. Um, studying for my dissertation, I noticed that there's a pain in the left side of my stomach and I didn't pay too much mind to it, but this pain starts to develop and get a lot worse over the weeks and the months and the years to come. So um, when I um, go back home, back home to London after graduating, I go to my GP to get a test done. And uh, long story short, over the next two years, a bunch of tests are run on me. This is um, IBS, but unfortunately we have bad news for you. There's no way to cure IBS. Um, one of the main factors that they know about IBS is that it um, is something to do with like an overgrowth of bacteria in your gut. And you just have to reduce stress to manage it and manage this for the rest of your life. So with that information, um, I was introduced to a diet called the FODMAP diet where um, you had to eliminate uh, a host of food from your diet to kind of see uh, what particular foods and ingredients actually trigger your IBS symptoms. So for me, that meant I had to eliminate onions, garlic, apples, legumes, so that's beans, um, cabbage, uh, tomatoes, uh, milk. It was just a long list of food that I usually am able to eat, I can't eat anymore. So, um, Fast forward to maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago, my mum introduced me to NSPPD and um, I really like plugged in because I was praying for healing and some other things as well. And uh, on the 24th of October, Pastor Jory mentioned my case for the first time and he mentioned, uh, you've been told that there's an overgrowth of bacteria in your gut. 
As I hear I say, uh-huh. they told you there's an overgrowth oh, of bacteria in your intestines. Overgrowth of bacteria in your intestines. If you're the one who put it on the life stream, uh-huh. by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, uh-huh. let it be reversed. When I heard that for the first time, I really plugged into it and prayed for it. And in a step of faith, I ate um, onions for the first time in five years. And I had like little to no reaction. Um, I didn't have any pain, which would have been impossible like a few days before. Um, and then again, Pastor Jerry mentioned my case on the 30th of October, and he actually mentioned the name of the disease. He said irritable bowel syndrome. I hear irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome. If you are the one, put it on the live stream. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, let it be reversed. Um, and for me that was like the final nail on the coffin like the fact that it's been mentioned twice already on the altar that means god has like done with this he really has seen my situation he really has been elroy and said like yeah enough is enough now i've been eating every single thing on that high format list i'm not supposed to eat and i'm having literally no reaction in the past if i accidentally ate an apple or something with onions with it um there will be days where i'll be doubled over in pain or i would have to like miss work because the pain is so just excruciating at times but um for the first time in five years i'm eating and i'm not having any reaction whatsoever so i want to just thank everybody on this prayer altar i want to thank um pastor jerry just even watching the testimony is just really building my faith and i just would encourage everyone to you know watch the testimonies give your testimonies because um you don't know how you can be encouraging people and um again what god cannot do does not exist my name is Vivian joko here is my daughter La Vida. We're recording this video testimony from Oyo, a private state in Nigeria. Pastor Jerry, I am that woman that God has shown mercy. I am that woman that El Roy, the last eight years, that gave me one day. La Vida here is nine years old. And after we had her, we've been trying to conceive. It wasn't working. We took all manners of medication, all manners of treatments, but nothing. It wasn't working. Nothing wasn't working. And I we just knew what to do. My husband had given up as he said, we shouldn't bother ourselves any longer. I said, we already have a child and it's okay with it. But me, I don't know, I knew I didn't come to this world to have just one child. So I kept pressing on. At the point he said, I'm going to turn into a lab rat. I no longer said the one that he's okay. So in 2021, I will introduce you to Fire Oza. I'm a big friend, Assistant. Assistant, wherever you are, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And so I joined the prayer. I'm following through. I make sure I show up. I spring. So whenever my parents will say, women in their 30s, women in their 40s, women in their 50s, carry your babies. Oh, please permit me to declare this. Women in their late 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, in their 60s, all about receive your children. But when he said we should bring the picture of what they want to do for us, I painted a picture of the two babies. Actually, I want them to just go. Before that was me, I was stretching my feet. I was like, okay, this is the one that is grateful. I will be forever grateful. But I believe you know God has so much for me. I believe you know He has so much in store for me. He gave more than I ever asked for him. He gave me more than I ever asked for him. My kids, they have to pick up four major breast down, shaking together, rolling over of that is my kids. See, this moment, I'm still in shock. I'm still pinching myself to believe what God has done in my life. So here it is. So last year, 2022, we decided to try again. In November, I was confirmed pregnant. While I was in the, um, in the doctor's office, and they called me in to show them the results and said, Congratulations, you were pregnant. Then I went on my knees, raised my two hands, was praising God, was thanking God, thank you, thank you, he was the one that did it. He did it. I was with God so many prisoners before that day, but since we don't have a prayer altar, since I have no prayers, they answer. In the times I was dead, what you are afraid of will not happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. My husband complained of scaring the multiples. So he posted a point and now said that I needed to be sick with that sickness because of the weight and the babies and my health effects on the sickness. 
I already knew I was going to do the job, so I, I, I knew nothing was going to go wrong, so I declined. I told him I was going to do some perfect He tried to persuade me to do it, I told him I'm not doing this because I believe that God has already gone ahead of me. I went through that journey successfully to the beginning of God's name. And on the 25th of July, I brought forth my children. And so then God gave me triple blessings, he gave me triplet girls, baby girls, beautiful fully developed, healthy babies to be glory of the name. Yeah, I children. Okay. Baby. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's baby Nakisha. Alama. This is the first of the triplets. This is baby Navana. <laughs> baby Navana. The second of the triplets. Olu and Obe. And here is Baby Lelani Oluchi, these are your babies. These are all the children that God gave you. And to anyone believing God for the fruit of the womb, I pray, O oh, Father King of Glory, that you will miss them at the point of their needs and you answer them speedily to the glory of God's name. Stay through, hold on, keep believing, keep trusting God. He will be for himself to you. Pastor Jerry, look at me. I'm a mother of one and I'm now a mother of four. Look at me, my hands are full. My hands are full. This can only be God. And I say thank you to you for encouraging us to pray. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for indeed we are grateful. In all of your head, never of that. Thank you so much. God bless you. What God cannot do does, does not exist. exist. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, the Lord has done it for me. I'm Mrs. Paris success. And I'm testifying from Port River State, Nigeria. I've been married for a good 14 years plus, no issue. I've gone to so many places, both English and native, all to no avail. Last year, I was under that fire, Pastor Jerry mentioned my case. Because of the places I went to, they said my womb was down. At that very day, Pastor Jerry said, there's a woman, they say your womb is down. They say your womb is down. The Lord is reversing it to his normal position today. I don't know who you are that said that your womb is upside down. That your womb is upside down. If you are the one, put it on the live stream and say, I am the one about the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I decree, let it be reversed right now. I quickly touched it and said it. From that day, my womb went down. Nothing happened to his normal position. So after that, I took him. The Lord blessed us with a bouncy baby girl. C can you see my evidence? This is my evidence. This is NSCPD daughter. And this is my vow. I said the same hand I used to carry my evidence, the same hand I will use to carry my vow. And I've come to redeem my vow today before I will send it to the church account. If you are this altar of fire, you don't need to be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. The God of altar of fire does not fail. Stay, he will answer you. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry, <laughs> no power will cut your life short. You will eat the fruits of your labor. As we they pray, he they show. I am Ify from Chicago, and these are my parents, the Inzebonas family. We've been on the fire altar since January of this year. We had a Muslim woman that was believing God for the fruit of the womb, got her babies. And we said, why not? Because we know and we believe that there's definitely fire on this altar. So in November, Papa said, in November, there will be no obituary. Say November, no obituary. Can you turn the fire? Say November, November. I will not bury. I will not be buried. I will not bury. I will not be buried. November, nobody will die. Nobody will die. Say arrows of death. Arrows of death. Who are you looking for? Right now, fire, fire. fire. fire.
And I want to say that in my father's family, the Nzebunas family, they've been, a, they've been a cycle of death. So when they bury someone, there is someone else waiting in the, in the mortuary to be buried. It's just like a cycle. And even as we speak, my, my dad's very close member of his family is actually in the, in the mortuary waiting to be buried. And so my father is going to give the story. Last Thursday, uh, November 2nd, at my construction site, three, uh, three men in a Toyota Camry came from behind, shot me three times at my back. As I was falling down, the only thing I could remember that came out of my mouth was, is this the way I will die? Uh, I struggled to stand up, I could not. By the time I stood up, I started having excruciating pain at my back. I see that one wasn't enough. By the time the cops and the paramedic came, they looked at me. They didn't believe I was shot. I, I, I got up to a point that the cops said, if, if it's really true, then it means this man, you are bulletproof. Thereafter, the paramedic team struggled to take me to a, given, uh, to a nearby hospital. With my wife's intervention, she asked them to take, uh, to take me to her, to the hospital where she was. So when they brought him to the hospital, the ambulance brought him, brought him to the hospital. Everybody around, you know, they you know, they were thinking that they would see someone in a stretcher, in a pool of blood. But when he came in, they used a wheelchair to bring him out. So I quickly assessed his body. She's a nurse, so she because I'm a nurse. nurse. I quickly assess his body, no scratch, no blood, before taking him inside the emergency room for X-ray and everything, which they found nothing. So I want to emphasize that they did X-ray, they did CT scan, they did everything on the back, nothing, nothing. The doctors even did the assessment two times, three times before they even let him go. They wanted to make sure that there was no bullets found inside his body. And so they found nothing. So what God cannot do does not exist. God is really doing great and mighty things in our family. And we know that he will finish it. We are definitely coming back for yes. a mega, mega. This is a mega yes. testimony. We are, we are coming back one. for mega, mega testimony. What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. So we'd like to thank you, Papa for your prayers you not sleeping maybe even one hour of sleep you get a day thank you thank, thank you. you so much pastor Ogo. Thank, thank you so you. much pastor okay thank, thank you so you. much pastor Eno. may god continue to bless your families what god cannot do does, does not, not exist as it they hurt pastor jerry <laughs> as it they hurt we they pray, we they show, we they pray, we they show, we they pray, we they show. As in the horse, I give you the gist. Hey, Pastor Jerry, May this year, 2023, I had the fibro surgery afterward. So they had to send the, 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 the sample to the lab outside the hospital. After I was discharged, when I changed the results, I saw cancer. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, from fibro to cancer. Hey, I said, now only me I was shattered. I was shattered, I was broken. I was broken, I was down. It was as if my whole world was collapsing, Pastor Jerry. They have even uh, already suggesting now chemo, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, all of that. I said, no, me, I will not take chemo. So they want to see me to do a uh, blood test. Uh, they took my test and one cancer test. You can see it's there. Cancer markers report form. You can see it's a CD level 44.6. They even told me that it's already on um, stage 4, stage 4 cancer. Many times, the word of language will come on this prayer water. Ovarian cancer, ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer, yeah. ovarian cancer. I command, be reversed by fire. I, I remember vividly, month October 2023, Pastor Jerry said, you had fibroid oppression. 
and they took the sample to the lab and they said it will it is cancerous you had fibroid and you had a surgery and they said they will test what they brought out from you they will test what they brought out from you now they are coming back to say it has cancer it has cancer if you are the one put it on the live stream the devil is a liar the devil is a liar by the power that receives us from the dead through me, God has reversed it. All. God has reversed it. I came to it. I pray it like, like a mad woman. I'm truly, I am carrying my evidence. I am with my evidence now. I have my evidence. I snapped it. I sent to my cousin. He said, This is nice. So after that, that did that was so we said, We said, I call me him for scan. That's for them to be very, very sure. He messaged me yesterday, Sunday, 5th of uh, November 2023, that I should come to the clinic to the 6th November 2023. So I went. He did the scan. He checked, he checked, he checked. He said, Madam, there is no cancer. You are free. No malignant, no cancer. You cannot live your normal life. There is no cause for alarm. That the histology people even invited another person from outside to come around the test again. And this result was still the same. That I am free. Pastor Jerry, I couldn't shout. I couldn't scream. I was just there. Pastor Jerry from stage stage four cancer cancer ovarian cancer adenoma adenocarcinoma I don't know so no cancer you are free no malignant no cause for alarm you cannot live your normal life hey hey Pastor Jerry truly what God cannot do does not exist what Jehovah God cannot fix does not exist there we day here Pastor Jerry Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm the woman that God has truly shown mercy. God has shown me mercy. Pastor Jerry, thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. Devil will not know the source of your strength, oh, Pastor Jerry. You will not fail, you will not falter. And for you, listening to this testimony, don't go anywhere. Stay here. One day, your own word of knowledge will come. And as we begin, celebrate, celebrate the Lord, 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 celebrate the Lord. What our God cannot do, what our God cannot turn around, what our God cannot do. And as we be there, Jesus, stay here. I didn't hear you, Jesus, stay here. Jesus, stay here. Is it working? People of God, what our God cannot do. I don't know. These things are dead. I don't. I, I, don't hey. I, I, I honestly am speechless. Hey. I honestly am speechless. Hey. People of God from stage four cancer. Stage four. From stage four, stage people four. of God from stage four all the way down to no cancer no at all. Somebody under the sound of my Shut. voice, at the sound of your amen, Shut. no matter what they say they Thank saw, you, if your amen were turned under like Shut. a warrior, I commanded, let it be terminated right now. Amen. People of God, for what our God cannot do, what a season to be alive and see the strange acts of God. Okay, so if this man, if, if, I don't know how to speak the English right now. So, he, they didn't shoot him once. So, just in case you, you hallucinated, you were hallucinating about the first shot. They shot him three times. He was shot three times. People of God shot three times. And he fell. He fell. People of God. He fell. So, the people who came to uh, kill him actually shot him the first time. You know, you know how to confirm that someone is dead. Shot him the first time. Shot him the second time. Shot him the third time. 
and he fell, he fell. only for him to discover that the bullet did not enter. Hey! Did not enter. Hey! NSPPDS. Hey! The, the, hey! the bullet did not enter. The bullet did not enter. The bullet did not. Somebody under the sound of my voice. At the sound of your amen. No matter what they have planned against you, I announce it will not enter your destiny. I say it will not enter your destiny. Let your amen thunder louder. And people of God, what a season to be alive. And witness this very strange act of God. It is unbelievable. And I'm looking at that story. You know, I, 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 you know, I'm looking at that. You know, there are testimonies that confuse you. You know, in one second, you are asking yourself too many questions. Uh, uh, so, did they shoot you? You know, did they, uh, you know, I know, because the cops themselves were confused. The cops were confused. People of God, may God give you a testimony that will confuse everybody. For what our hey, God cannot do. Does not exist. He that keepeth Israel never slumbers nor sleep. You are on this altar. Prayers are going on. You don't oh, look at that one. Somebody will be in the mortuary hey, and another person will die. Hey, so take over from the person hey, that hey, is hey, in the mortuary. Hey, if, if, yes, right yes, now, yes, okay. yes. There's somebody in the mortuary. So if that thing happens, like, hey, you know, that, like, like if it, exactly. So you put someone in the mortuary hey, maybe for three months. Hey, but by the time you're getting ready to bury that hey, one, another, another person either. will come and take over from that. Hey, which kind of weird? Can hey, listen to me. Every weekend hey. pattern of obituary oh, around yeah. your life. At the sound of your Yemen, I announce that they are broken by fire. Amen. If the hand of a man is involved, oh, at the sound of your Yemen, let them enter the grave they have dug. People of God, God is on this altar. You know, when we break cycles and patterns, some people may not understand what we're praying. We keep breaking, we keep breaking. You just never can tell. It might be, it might be your family we are praying about. It might be your family. I am still insisting. You see, in this November, there will be no obituary. You see, in December, if your amen was thunder, there will still be no obituary. If you are hearing me right now, hear me as I hear the Lord, you will see the last day of this year. Your brothers, your sisters, people connected to you, your children, they will see the last day of this year. People of God, what our God cannot do. And look at that 14 years of barrenness that the Lord broke. 14 years of bar- 14 years is not 14 days. Oh. It's not 14 months. Oh. 14 years. What our God cannot do does not exist. People of God, look at that eight years secondary infertility. Eight years secondary infertility. God also arrested it. And then brought triplets. Brought triplets. And she said, what I only wanted was one. But God gave her Three, what our God cannot do does not exist. People of God, now this is, very, what exactly is irritable bowel syndrome? What on earth is that? What is, what on earth? God is here. This is my own testimony. This is my own testimony. God is here. People of God, what our God cannot do does not exist. And people of God, look at that marital settlement. People of God, a woman in her late 40s. People of God, and then God gave her a ready-made husband. People of God, that God is your God. All I know is that you see this November, December, NSPBDs will do a lot of weddings. I wish your amen would have been louder than that. And if you're ready, like we're ready right now, people of God, we pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very blood of Jesus. We pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the flesh of Jesus. Our first communion is the king of kings has ruled in my favor. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. So while I was praying in the night, the Spirit of God kept saying to me, the second communion will be a communion of exemption. Amen. Amen. If your amen were thunder, you are exempted from every evil. Amen. It might happen to others, but it will not happen to you. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. Jesus. And, and drink of the blood of the new covenant. 
And last communion is communion of answers. Get on your knees wherever you are and begin to ask the Lord for three things that you deserve him. I decree it is done. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. Amen and amen.